If you grew up on a farm, you probably have some experience with farm cats. Now I'm talking about farm cats. Not house cats, not acreage cats, farm cats. These are the cats that live amongst the outbuildings of your farm. They survive on mice, rats, moles, voles, snakes, toads, the occasional rabbit, whatever they can get their paws on, that's what they're gonna eat. They are tough, they are mean, and they have no desire to please the farmer. You gotta have so many cats because you know you're gonna lose so many cats to coyotes over the years. But there does exist an odd relationship between the farm cat and the farmer. Every once in a while when you're working on a piece of equipment and you're laying on the ground and that cat walks by, the occasional back scratch does happen. It's something that neither party really likes to talk about or admit, but at the end of the day, when the cat's walking across the barnyard in front of you, there's a collective head nod between the both of us. Farm kids, however, that's a different story. Little farm girls would always carry the cat like this, where the head's coming up and the rest of the body is just dangling there, and they would carry them around for hours and the cats could care less. For some reason, farm cats and farm girls were the perfect partnership. Farm boys want to try to tame the feral cats. Now, a feral farm cat is a cat that is there on the farm. He's, he's going to take advantage of living on the buildings, but he wants nothing to do with you, which to a farm boy, well, that just makes him want to tame them even more. I tried to train feral cats for years with zero luck until one day my dad's hired man showed up and he gave me some catnip. Now that worked pretty good because I would take the catnip, the cat couldn't resist. He would come over and then I would feed him something. Voila, we had a trained farm cat at that point. Now my dad, he would use farm cats to teach life examples. We would feed the farm cats what was ever left over for table scraps. Because you're not gonna catch a mouse every single day I always wanted to buy the cats some cat food, but my parents would never let me, and my dad would say this, the cat's job is to kill mice. If we started feeding them, they would lose the desire to go and kill mice. We would take away all incentive for them. He would equate that to me growing up and wanting to earn whatever I was going to make in life. He didn't want us kids to be given anything. Using farm cats to teach me how to work hard Seems kind of weird, but yet my dad would make it work. I think every farm should have a cat. I'm gonna say that even though I know that you all are gonna cuss me when you step in cat poop because it is the worst smelling substance on the face of the earth. I'm Rob Sharkey. If you wanna let me know what you think about farm cats, go to sharkfarmer.com. If you wanna see more stuff like this, go to agriculture.com slash TV. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.